In a world dominated by heavyweight multi-role fighters like the F-35, Rafale, and Eurofighter Typhoon, one aircraft dares to stand out by doing more with less. Fast, agile, affordable, and battle-proven. Meet the Saab JAS-39 Gripen, Sweden's answer to modern aerial warfare, and possibly the most underrated fighter jet in the world. The Cold War was ending, but the need for a capable, affordable multi-role fighter was just beginning. In the 1980s, Sweden's Saab set out to build an aircraft that could defend its airspace, from highways if necessary. The result? The JAS-39 Gripen. JAS stands for Yacht, Fighter, Attack, and Spaining, Reconnaissance. Three roles packed into one versatile platform. First flown in 1988 and entering service in 1996, the Gripen wasn't designed to outmuscle its rivals. It was designed to outsmart them. At just 14 meters long and weighing around 8 tons empty, the Gripen is compact. But don't let its size fool you. It's powered by the Volvo RM12 engine, a derivative of the GE F404, capable of pushing the jet past Mach 2. Its canard delta wing configuration gives it exceptional agility and short takeoff due landing capability. Perfect for Sweden's concept of road base operations. But perhaps the Gripen's greatest weapon is its brain. With advanced data fusion, network centric warfare capability, and an intuitive glass cockpit, the Gripen acts as a flying command center. It can share data in real time with other jets, ground stations, and even naval forces. This makes it a force multiplier, not just a fighter. The Gripen can carry almost every major Western missile, from the Meteor Beyond Visual Range missile to the Iris T, AIM 120, AMRAM, and Brimstone. It's also equipped with the PS 05 A radar, and in later variants, the Raven ES 05 AESA radar, giving it powerful detection and tracking capabilities. And it doesn't stop there. The Gripen supports electronic warfare pods, reconnaissance pods, and precision-guided munitions for air-to-ground strikes. The original Gripen C-D was impressive, but the Gripen EF, also known as Gripen NG, is a whole new beast. The Gripen E has a more powerful General Electric F414 engine, increased fuel capacity and payload, Advanced AESA Radar and Infrared Search and Track IRST Upgraded Electronic Warfare Suite It's smarter, stealthier, and deadlier, while still being cheaper to operate than most 4th and 5th generation jets. Despite not having the same marketing budget as its rivals, the Gripen has found success around the world. Operators include Sweden, its proud home, Brazil, producing Gripens domestically with Saab, South Africa, Hungary, Czech Republic, Thailand. And it continues to be a contender in fighter jet competitions globally, often beating flashier rivals on cost, reliability, and ease of maintenance. One of the Gripen's most unique features, it can land on an 800-meter road and be refueled and rearmed by a team of just six personnel in under 10 minutes. This makes it incredibly survivable in the event of infrastructure attacks, an ideal solution for countries with dispersed defense strategies. In terms of operating costs, some estimate it at a quarter of the cost of an F-35. With future-proof upgrades, digital systems, and a modular design, the Gripen is built to evolve. In an age where air forces need flexibility, speed, and affordability, the Gripen might just be the smart fighter the world needs. It may not be the flashiest, it may not be the most talked about, but in terms of balance, efficiency, and pure design philosophy, the Saab JAS-39 Gripen is a masterpiece of modern aviation. What do you think? Is the Gripen the best value fighter on the market today? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more military aviation content.